Hey guys, thanks for joining me for another Affinity Designer tutorial. Um, today we're going to be talking about how to use different view, mo view modes in Affinity Designer right after this. Okay, so here we have a, a picture of some trees and some flowers in the sky. So this was a very simple uh, picture to create. Um, if you guys want to download it, you can go ahead and do that. Uh, just look in the description and there should be a download link there. And then you can just hit download. And then you can use the same picture I'm using. Okay, so what I mean by different view modes is um, whether you're viewing it as pixel or outlines or uh, retina pixel. So there, those are diff three different um view modes that you can use. So um, to use these you come up here to view and then come down here to view mode and you'll be able to click on a few different view modes that they have here. So right now it's on vector and I really downsized this uh, this so uh, you'll be able to see um, the difference between pixels and vector. So I'm gonna go ahead and select pixels and as you can tell, it sort of blurred up a little bit. If you zoom in a little bit, you'll be able to tell that it's definitely pixelated. And then it'll also give you another option to do pixels retina, which makes it a little bit of smaller pixels. Then you can also do outline and see what your picture looks like with outlines and uh, so this is sort of helpful it goes through every layer that is ever created and what's cool about this is you can do split view so you can see how it would look with pixels versus outline or pixels versus vector and so then you can see the difference and um, that can help you out with just uh, some it can just help you out with uh, how they're gonna look after you export them as a JPEG so that's just something uh, that is useful when you're designing they also have different um, shortcut keys so if I wanted to go to outline I could hit command Y and then hit it back to go back to vector so that's um, basically how they do that and then I'm just going to do uh, I'm just going to do single mode and now I'm going to show you something else about how to more easily uh, change your and to go up to view all the time and so this is uh, quite a bit easier so what you're going to need to do is come up here to view also scroll down and then click on customize toolbar right up, right under show toolbar so right after you do that scroll down and you'll find view mode and then you can stick this up here if you have room depending on um, if you think it's important enough to stick up here um, so um, and also if you want to just change it around this is my first video on the tool changing the toolbar so um, you can take advantage of your toolbar and customize it however you want so uh, um, that's an easier way to use view modes thanks for watching this video if you liked it and if it helped you out, uh, please give me a like. And if you want more Affinity Designer tutorials, please subscribe to my channel. I have um, uh, many videos about Affinity Designer. And if you would like me to make a n another video, a p specific video for you about Affinity Designer, um, please comment in the area below, and I'd be glad to do that for you. Thanks for watching.